Good afternoon, dear colleagues. It looks like some kind of symptomatic case because I also feel excluded from this audience, especially after the majority that I wanted to talk about has been mentioned and uh, in a more detailed way. As the uh, uh, floor was given first to the doctor, the person who who acts not uh, in the library or in an office, but in the doctor's room. So I'd like to say something new and to add to something that of, have already been mentioned and to um, discuss the points that I don't agree with. So the topic is um, sociological investigation on relationship between doctors and patients. So what does sociologists do in medicine? An interesting question. I would like uh, to respond to this question. First of all, when I, uh, on my way here, I wanted to begin the presentation in a different way, but after the previous presentation, I want to begin differently. Uh, in sociological point of view, I will try to uh, ex uh, define a, an ideal case. So there is a, an ideal medicine that knows what to do, that always helps in 100% of cases, that minimizes suffering. On the other hand, there is incorrect medicine. And those who adjust to alternative science, they can be compared to uh, some kind of not correct bees or or something like that. So they saw uh, people who drink uh, some kind of uh, water with um, shark cartilage or something like this, and they are viewed as... Uh, and uh, second, there is a patient, a patient who is ill. So... A person who has got a disease and he is suffering from something and uh, his disease is changing his is changing his life completely these people are not graduates of medical institutions uh, as in usual case as a rule we know about oncology in the process of the disease development. On the other side of spectrum is medicine, a well-established science having its methods, theories. Moreover, it is science, which is in the field uh, uh, which implies communication with patients. There is certain statistical, important statistical methods, evidence, and so on. There are trials. So, unfortunately, if we talk about mentality of people who use alternative methods, I would like to show you the following. In this case, this is the city of Yale, um, and there is a famous oncological center there which has conducted a sociological study out of uh, 280 patients, uh, well, uh, out of 800 40 patients, 280 result to alternative medicine. This is one third. There are different types of oncology, but this case shows that in the US, where there is a bit different approach to treatment, there are such artifacts which we have to remember about. I think that. The most important thing uh, is the existence of paternalistic model of interaction of patient and doctor. Uh, it has been described, but there is the other model, the model of sustainable partnership. So paternalistic, in paternalistic model, a patient is viewed as a child who is guided by the patient as a parent who is telling what has to be done and what shouldn't be done. As it has been noticed, uh, 
a doctor inside this paternalistic uh, model is angry with uh, other uh, alternative methods. It's not just doctor's room. It's a space of, uh, where two models of explanation collide, the model of explanations on the part of the doctor, the scientist, and the patient, a person who is learning his oncological disease in the process of his disease development. An important thing here is division the borderline between uh, made by a number of medical anthropologists and here I would like to say that uh, these are usually people who besides the theological uh, degree have a medical degree in Europe they often practice such form of education when philosophy and practical medicine uh, are taught in one department so disease inside medical anthropology where disease is uh, 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 divided into illness uh, when something is wrong and disease, a diagnosis or pathology. And it is created based on clinical notices and typology made by a doctor. Where is the problem here? In my view, the most interesting thing starts collision of illness and disease as two models of explanation of what's happening here uh, gives birth to that huge conflicts uh, which have been described by two presenters today. Sociologically speaking, it's not just mental dispositions that the brain makes before the treatment has started. Usually, it is created within the field when where we exist, because uh, a lot of studies have shown, uh, and for example, there have been Russian studies, that our understanding of what disease is, how it should be treated, is uh, uh, created not at school or neither at school nor in the university, but within our families, friends, acquaintances. If you look out into the street, we look into the kindergarten, we're inoculated there. Uh, then a, if it is a well, military commission, army commission, they we go through testing. You know, there are drug stores everywhere, drug stores. So it's difficult to imagine when a person would come back home saying, I have some, I, I feel unwell. And instead of going to the doctor, I'd rather make some enema with uh, coffee. Uh, uh, so. Uh, and with gastric cancer, the story is quite real. Uh, so but these convictions, these ideas are being shaped up within our, during our life. It depends on how we communicate with our friends and relatives. And when we come to a doctor, a scientist, they set a collision. It's misunderstanding. It's understand, uh, misunderstanding of doctor's viewpoint, which results in a conflict. Uh, and to our great regret, uh, patients, uh, some patients resort to alternative methods. I'm conducting a research uh, and I'm studying this group of people who resort to alternative method of cancer treatment. And one of my respondents say, said that she had been diagnosed with breast cancer and uh, when she came to a doctor, the doctor suggested that she would excise her breast and ovary, and uh, she said, I'm frustrated, I'm afraid, I do not believe what you are talking about. Maybe I will ask my boyfriend, and the doctor said, are you sure he wouldn't uh, leave you after that? And uh, this is just a uh, gist of paternalistic model that is attitude to a patient. The patient is considered as an object. There are objects in science, biologists uh, uh, study these things, and physicists, other physical objects. In paternalistic model, uh, a doctor looks at the patient as an object. He has to take out his, uh, diagnose his disease and take it out. And uh, there is distinction between a healthy person and a person who is ill. When something is wrong, you have to take away what's wrong and return him to a healthy life. Unfortunately, the boundaries uh, 
uh, are different. If you read British medical journals publication, doctors would say that there is no more difference between a healthy person and a person who has disease. We have chronic uh, diseases in paternalistic model. It's not taken into account. And the proposal to remove ovary and breast as a single uh, that uh, decision uh, illustrates this model explicitly. After she had heard these words, she resorted to alternative methods of treatment, and oh, it was an improper decision in general. It strongly aggravated her condition, and there was, but. Uh, what was uh, in YouTube that was uh, enemas, uh, fasting, cold water, and so on. But that form in which patient uh, when, um, is talking about uh, the way he's talking about alternative treatment seems para-scientific to us. From the viewpoint of a doctor, as a scientist, it has no logic. How come? It contradicts physiology of man, but from the patient's viewpoint, medical sociologists would call it divergent rationality. If you, you are saying, if you as a doctor hear from a patient that uh, uh, coffee enema or fasting uh, will help to cope with the breast cancer, it's very likely that it looks wonderful in his head and very justified. It's not just craziness. It's uh, uh, just uh, so easy to call a person crazy and send him to a mental clinic. No, everything is very rational and logic in his head. So one comes from the other. For example, uh, cancer uh, well, is supplied with glucose. I will not be eating sugar. It, and using these logical well, causal relations, uh, uh, so uh, the, with these causal relations in patients' uh, head are sometimes very convincing, and they involve a lot of adepts because in this system of rational things, everything is very well structured. It couldn't be a collective craziness or insanity, but uh, it's important that uh, I will probably finish here. So one of the reasons, or one of the results, sorry, that people, uh, patients might mistrust doctors, how Fortunately, representatives of alternative med uh, medicine so uh, provide that uh, confidence resource. If the doctor, if if a patient um, uh, cannot establish standard uh, confidence building relations with a doctor, he will find it from Ayurveda or acupuncture specialist. In this case, it's related to trivial sociological hypothesis. Confidence is the basic and leading resource where social institutes uh, are maintained. And doctor and patient relationship is a social institution. And if, in this case, an institute does not receive, uh, doesn't get fuel, this locomotive doesn't move, you will find this resource somewhere else in another institution. And <coughs> the model of sustainable partnership that has been announced as some set of rules, how to talk with the patient, how to behave, is very important because, strictly speaking, there is no set of rules. It's, as it has been mentioned, truly mentioned, it's the result of exclusive possible reflection uh, without uh, or towards profession. There are, there are no guidelines uh, uh, about that. Some, uh, well, patients are different. One may be aggressive uh, towards the doctor, another, of course, not. But uh, by the way, I was really shocked, uh, positively shocked by the previous presentation. Such high degree of reflection shows that 
Russian medical system or reality goes away from paternalistic system that was practiced in the Soviet Union and other countries, which is still being implemented. This is an example how model of sustainable partnership can be implemented because doubtfulness is not so bad. Probably it's the only predictor that uh, uh, there is a uh, uh, drastic restructuring of traditional uh, paradigm. Uh, so doubts of scientists, uh, doctors, uh, in my view, it's very critical. Thank you.